Exclamation, everybody, and welcome back to Star Trek Online. We're continuing with Circles Within Circles with the, the Dyson Sphere uh, arc here. And I've been, uh, apparently there's like, <laughs> I don't know if there's other people here or what's going on, but um, off camera I've been continuing the 7th anniversary uh, reputation stuff and we are so close my friends, 880 out of 1000, so close I kind of feel like, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous that we're going to run out of time before I can actually get this freaking thing, uh, it's, it's like it takes 15 days to actually get enough stuff to do that. And yes, there are like players beaming down here and stuff. Okay. This is like a shared uh, instance or something. All right, sure. Uh, let's talk to the chief logistics officer and see what's going on. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant, Admiral. A journey that once took 30 years at maximum warp now takes mere minutes. Did we just go as far as Voyager did? Not quite. We're on the border of the Delta Quadrant. Specifically, we're within the Solane. Uh, Solane Dyson Sphere, a spherical structure built around a star. The sphere itself has a diameter that is nearly 200 million kilometers, or the equivalent of 250 million M-class planet surfaces. How much of the sphere has been explored? You're looking at it. The sphere is huge, and it could take us a lifetime to completely understand its construction technology. We're taking it slow until we know more. That's where you come in, sir. We could use help with, from the Cortex. Before we get started, though, Subcommander Kale wants to receive a wants you to receive a briefing about Omega particles from our chief scientists all right I'll speak with the chief scientist okay so uh, where, where do we go for the chief scientist over here okay oh yeah you can access your mail and stuff here all right all right interesting did not know that this was like another hub um over here, perhaps? Like the Battlezone veteran. That's not the chief scientist, is it? We're headed to reinforce the Battlezone and the contested zone of, Sol uh, of the Dyson Sphere. Would you like to join us in fighting the Voth forces? What is the Battlezone? The Battlezone is what we call the ground portion of our offensive against the Voth. Right now, it's located near the base of a four-legged spire inside the contested zone. We're trying to secure the area in order to prevent the Voth from gathering Omega particles from the containment silos located there. All right, so clearly that's not something that I know about yet. Oh, here we go, up here. Up here is where I need to be. And... Okay, you're over here. Chief Scientist. Ah, hello, Admiral. Kale has asked me to be brief as there is a lot to be done. We found massive amounts of Omega particles being produced within the Dyson Sphere. These particles are extremely unstable and, when detonated, they will damage subspace, making warp travel impossible in vast areas around the detonation site. In the past, we've only had to deal with small amounts of Omega particles. Now we have a structure that is mass producing them for an unknown purpose. So what is the plan to neutralize the Omega particles? The plan is twofold. First, we must find and destroy any existing Omega particles. Secondly, we must discover whatever is producing them at such an alarming rate and stop it. The Federation and Klingons have agreed to join an alliance with the Romulan Republic in order to see this done. These particles threaten us all. This would be simple except for, well, perhaps it's best if you hear more from Sub-Commander Kael. He's asked to speak with you. Alright, very well, I'll talk to him. Uh, where is he at? That way? How, how is he that way? There's just, there's just a wall there. Um, okay. So, running around this way, I guess. Oh, there's a door I can go through? Ah, uh, yes, indeed there is. Okay. This all looks familiar. Very, very purple. Um. Ah, over here. What do you have to say for yourself? Welcome to the Solanay Dyson Sphere. My name is Subcommander Cole. This is the main command center for Joint Alliance Command, a multi-species task force willing to work together toward a common goal, for now at least. The gateway you use to get here is in Republic space, so the Republic is taking the lead here as well. Our mission? To destroy the Omega particles this sphere creates, and neutralize its ability to generate more. 
The first scouts into the sphere confirmed that it was producing massive amounts of Omega particles for an unknown purpose. Given enough time, this sphere could produce enough Omega particles to completely annihilate warp travel in all known quadrants of the galaxy. We thought this would be a sweep and clear operation, but we were waylaid by a species known as the Voth. The Voth claim to be natives of the Delta Quadrant, are extremely technologically advanced, and they want the Sphere. Now we're in a fight for control. The Voth are determined to gather the Omega Particles. We're still determining why, but this is a threat to all warp-capable civilizations. I can't stress enough how important it is that we stop the Voth and neutralize the Omega Particles. There's a lot to do. Shall we get started? Sure, we can get started. Just stop, stop twitching. <laughs> stop y'all twitching. Uh, all right, talk to Sub Commander Cole again. Are you ready to begin, Admiral? The Sone Dyson Sphere is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Sure, why not? Uh, supply woes and escalation. All right, and these give us reputation rewards. I have a feeling that these are actually multiplayer things or even daily quests. So I'm not sure, though. I haven't played them, so obviously I don't know. Um, while the minefield helps to keep Voth ships from entering Allied space en masse, occasionally the Voth will slip one or two small vessels through with their advanced cloaking devices. We have a range of tachyon probe frequencies that can sometimes detect Voth ships, but we need to get up close to have any chance of success. Want the Cortex to search the zone for any Voth ships that might be hiding. Uh, search for cloaked Voth ships. Okay. Sure. And then Escalation. Explore a Delta Quadrant. The activation of the gateway at the heart of the Solnate Dyson Sphere has given us uh, access to another Dyson Sphere, originally found near the Genolan system, that is now located deep in a Delta Quadrant. The Romulan Republic, the Federation, and the Klingon Empire have put aside their differences in order to unite against common enemies. But they need skilled captains and crews willing to join the fight. Travel through the gateway and contact Delta Command once you reach the Genola and Dyson Sphere in the Delta Quadrant. Uh, travel to the Jurette system in the Beta Quadrant, pass through the Iconian Gateway, blah, blah, blah. I have a feeling that's a multiplayer thing. I just get the feeling that that's what that is. Um, all right, well, let's see what I need to do to actually continue the continue the thing here um, it just says circles within circles supply woes and the contested zone I guess these are all both part of it I guess um, all right well supply woes seem to be the one that actually yeah escalation is not on there so I'm guessing that's probably a multiplayer one so the supply woes is the one that we want to actually do we make that the primary just so that we just so that we know what we're doing here and uh, return your ship in the Dyson Sphere Allied system okay all right a little bit little confusing but I you know this is sort of intended to be like more like the end game content since we're at level 60 and all that stuff oh no by the way that means I think I have dinged once or twice off camera so Let's look. Let me make sure all my traits are still here. I I looked at here last time and my traits had somewhat disappeared. So sometimes that just happens. Uh, let's go, command officer. Do I have? I have one point. So you come being shield healing will grant you a short burst of dodge bonus, making you more difficult to hit. Uh, you and all nearby teammates receive additional hull restoration from all friendly sources. Okay, restoration synergy from all friendly sources. Okay, energy signature flux. Uh, what about the intelligence officer one? Perception bending. Your stealth and perception values are directly increased by your current auxiliary power level. Uh, automated systems can detect when your sensors have been compromised and initiate an immediate reboot. Any incoming placate and confuse effects may be instantly and automatically cleansed as soon as they are applied. Ooh, that's actually really, really good. All right, we'll, we'll purchase that one. Uh, yes, please. Almost to tier three unlock here, so that's good. All 
Alrighty then. Alright, let's get into position and do what we gotta do. We run missions here from Joint Command, the center of all allied operations. This is the supply depot. We use it to ship supplies to our forces and to store any unusual or dangerous technologies we find here. This region is the minefield. It is used as a barrier to keep Voth forces out, although some still slip by. And this is the Ion Stream, a series of structures moving a high volume of charged particles and exotic radiation through the area. Each of these areas could use your help. Good luck. Okay. Um, scan for cloaked ships near the supply depot. All right, so we'll go this way then. Oop, I think a, <laughs> a a player just uh, flew right by. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah, this is a cool little area. We're actually inside a we're inside a Dyson sphere. We're not moving very fast though, but we are inside one. I would think that impulse would move a lot faster than this, but I guess it's just because of how freaking huge this this Dyson sphere is. So this is actually really cool because it's like we're in atmosphere. Um, sort of, uh, and sort of not. It's uh, it's really really neat, actually. I like I like what they're doing here. Wow, that's actually 106 kilometers away. Really, I gotta go to warp in here just to just to get to this thing. Look at this place. This is actually really cool. This is really really cool. I can I can suspend my disbelief enough to do to deal with this place. This is really neat. Actually, all right, let's slow down a bit and scan for cloaked Voth ships. Oh, oh, we found some. We found them. <laughs> They're over here, guys. They're over here. Boy, it feels like I've been, it feels like forever since I've been in a space battle with my actual ship here and not with something else that I don't know the ins and outs of. Slow down a bit here so I can actually turn for a change. Alright, uh, I guess that other guy, I guess that other guy cloaked again. Right, let's throw a little torpedo his way and see how he likes it. Uh, throw some shield regen up. Some uh, overcharged phasers as well. And let's see if this get ooh. Where's my where's my cursor at? There it is. <laughs> I'm losing my cursor here. These guys are I feel like I'm fighting up or downhill here for some reason. Ooh, nice. They explode very well, don't they? Alright, you take that. And then once I get this back up here, we can give you another shot in the arm. Excellent. This is Cole. The USS Hypatia could use your help in the Iron Stream. All right. Interesting. Interesting, I say. Okay, where is the Ion Stream? It is over there. All right. So that is where we will head. Oh. All right. We're closing in on what we're supposed to be doing here. I love how... As soon as I start recording, my sciences decide to just close right up. <laughs> so apologies if I sound a little bit more nasally than normal. Uh, just, geez louise, <laughs> I say to all that. 
All right, let's see what they need. Hail them. Good to see you, Admiral. See the ion streams, the energy in them can be rerouted into the power cells of a starship and delivered to other areas of the sphere. This energy helps us better understand how the sphere activates. Uh, can the Cortex take some of the ion stream's energy to our tower in the minefield? Absorb energies from the ion stream and then deliver them to the allied minefield uh, tower. Okay, sure, we can do that. So, uh, what do I do? Do I just, like, fly into it? Like, do I just fly into one of the... One of the streams? Do we cross the streams? Is this, uh... Uh, is this suddenly... Oh, what's all that over there? Uh, I don't know. And stream discharge. Oh, maybe I gotta go to the discharge here. Yeah, because that's got an arrow on it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's come over this way. Okay, my friends. It's been a couple minutes. I spent some time fighting down on the on the surface of that sphere. It was a lot of fun. There was a lot of uh, other players around. Uh, unfortunately, to continue that uh, arc, there has to be players out in the you know the ship portion of it fighting around, and there aren't too many. Uh, so I couldn't take out any of the towers or retake any of the towers because I just don't have the I don't have the power. Just don't have it. I need I need friends to, to help out with that, and unfortunately that's nobody was playing that, so I uh, decided to to get out of there for now. Uh, maybe I'll revisit that at some point, uh, probably on my own. That feels like a like an old school esque, -esque um, you know, uh, multiplayer dungeon kind of thing. It's it's kind of cool. I like it, um, but it's. It's hard to record something like that because you don't know when anybody's going to be there and whatnot. So, I think what I want to do, I like I said, I like to stick to storyline stuff as much as I can. I think to wrap this up, we're going to go to the Delta Quadrant and we're going to start doing the Delta Quadrant missions, which look like they're more story-based than uh, this gateway is. So, we'll see in a moment. Incoming hail from Voyager, sir. On screen. Welcome to the Janolan Dyson Sphere. The situation in the Delta Quadrant is continuing to develop. We will need the assistance of all our allies to stay ahead of it. Well, thank you for this opportunity. I look forward to serving with you. Okay, go to... What do we gotta do? Beam to Delta Quadrant Command. Exactly how do I do that? Uh, beam to Delta Quadrant Command. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Did not know the Janola and Dyson Sphere was in a Delta Quadrant, though, but I guess... I guess it is as far as this, uh, Star Trek Online is concerned. Um... So, now what? Is this just another Dyson Sphere thing that we've already done? Or is this a... Like, I think this, this seemed like, based on what I was looking at in the menus there, like this would be a little bit more story-based. But we'll see in a moment here. There's not too many people in this area as there were in the Dyson Sphere one, that's for sure. Um, Alright, so... Who do I talk to? Commander Burgess? Uh, welcome to Delta Quadrant. Okay, thank you. Uh, you have time to look into something for me. Mindscape. Admiral Tuvok has requested that you meet Voyager in the Solaran system. I believe he requires your assistance with a personal issue. While you're there, you should be able to get a briefing on the current state of the Delta Quadrant. All right, cool. Yeah, this looks more like a a regular single player mission thing. What's uh, Commander Mina? Uh, who are you? Stay in the shadows, intelligence game, blah, 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 regime changes, Tatan, uh, all right, yeah, so nobody I care about. Galera, uh, all right, never mind, guess I'm not supposed to talk to them yet. All right, so we need to go to uh, the Solarian system. Let's make sure that these are primary. I hate how it keeps changing my primary around on me. After I get things, 
Okay, um, so I guess we I gotta beam up to the ship and then head to wherever Voyager's at. All right, well, there was a, uh, a beautiful little intro there uh, to Delta Rising, which is the, uh, I guess that's the expansion that we're on now. Um, now that we've made our way around, we are in the Delta Quadrant, my friends. You can see it's, it's not too many things here, but uh, that's just due to limitations on their servers, I believe. Um, but uh, we have some, some tasks to do here. I'm not. I'm gonna cut that part out. That uh, cutscene. It was good, but I know from experience, just from trying to get um, Star Trek uh, Elite Force One on here, that any cutscene that looks even remotely like Star Trek Voyager's opening, which that did, uh, somebody from CBS doesn't know the difference between all that stuff, and they were manually uh, copyright IDing it. So. That's unfortunate. I don't, I'm going to cut all that out, even though it was great. Um, and any normal person would look at that and go, this is not the same thing. Uh, I know that they're stupid and they won't do that. So uh, just so that I don't I don't get any content ID hits, because they, they actually literally, um, it was a manual hit, which means a human actually looked at it, which is weird. And uh, um, it was blocked worldwide when I did it. So i uh, not going to do that on this one. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just assume that... I'm not going to, I'm not going to uh, overcome the stupidity of a human. So where do we go now? We got to go to the Solarian system. So let's do that, shall we? A um, couple of the voice actors were reprising their roles. It sounded like uh, there was Jerry Ryan there, um, Robert Ricardo as the Doctor and Garrett Wang and uh, do, 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 Neith, uh, Ethan Phillips uh, and of course um, Tim Russ. So hopefully we'll get to hear all of those folks and that wasn't just like an intro and that was it. <laughs> so we'll see as we go here. So we approach the Solarian system and hopefully we can get started with our, our quest here. In Mindscape. Greetings. Admiral Tuvok is waiting for you in the conference room. Ah, very nice. Very nice indeed. Well, thank you, uh, Lieutenant Commander Venzil. Welcome aboard. And if I may say so, it's good to see you again. Between Doomsday Devices and the Delta Quadrant, it looks like we get all of the interesting assignments. If you'll come with me, I'll take you to Admiral Tuvok. He wants to see you right away. Ah, I see you're a trill. Excellent. All right. Uh, Venzel, I didn't expect to see you again. It's good to see you too. I don't remember her. Someone decided that with our experience with that, uh, borrowed bird of prey, I'm the perfect person to handle joint operations with the Klingons out here in the Delta Quadrant. I even got a promotion, as you can see. Uh, can you fill me in a bit on what's going on out here? What would you like to know? Uh, why does Admiral Tuvok want me? The Admiral is trying to track down Dr. Cooper. He thinks that Cooper is the key to this conflict with the Undine. He hasn't explained why yet, but he says that your assistance is crucial. What would you like to know? Uh, so what's the situation? Unstable, but not totally out of control. The Borg have suffered setbacks on multiple fronts. They're being pressed hard by the Voth, the Undine, and various liberated elements. The Voth are mostly bottled up in their home space and in the Solene Dyson Sphere. We've established some connections with a few of the locals, such as the Kobali and the Talaxians. Of course, there are still troublemakers out here. The Kazon, the Herogen, the Malon, and there's a new power player we're very concerned about. Whoever they are, they're picking off systems left and right. Even the Krenim weren't a match for them. We need to find out who they are and what they want. Okay. What would you like to know? You're dropping lots and lots of alien race names that I know, but uh, you haven't told me much about them, about what's going on here. Um, so why bring Voyager out here? The ship is 30 years old. Voyager spent seven years in the Delta Quadrant. And during that time, many of her systems were optimized to deal with the hazards out here. 
this old girl's still got a few tricks. Besides, Admiral Tuvok specifically brought Voyager out for this mission. And what the Admiral wants, the Admiral gets. Well, you know, it'd be even cooler if you put like a giant freaking phaser on the front, you know, like, you know, and just and have that in addition to all the other phasers and then have it like shoot right through uh, ships. Oh, that's right. I forgot the uh, Enterprise X did that. OK. Um, all right. Well, let's go. Uh, all right, uh, I guess I'll go ahead of you. Sorry we don't have time for a tour, but the Admiral insists he needs to speak with you right away. All right, well, we'll speak with him right away then. And this looks the so Admiral familiar after... For you in the ready room. This looks so familiar after after playing, uh, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> Elite Force. All right, Admiral, um, I see you've, you've gone and made this your own home away from him. You know, I didn't know that you could see the ship outside of uh, the window there because they never really had a good angle on it. Huh, interesting. All right. Admiral Tuvok. Greetings. Thank you for coming so promptly. We do not have much time, and I require your assistance. So what's up? I am still under telepathic assault by the Undine we know as Cooper. He has found some means to greatly increase his psionic power and I cannot withstand his assault indefinitely. I will need your help to repel Cooper's attack and counter him. You you named a, a, an Undine Cooper? I mean, is that like naming a, a dog uh, Ruffington or something? I, I mean, geez, Louise, you must be under a great amount of stress. What else do you need to know? Uh, what do you need me to do? I have been able to deflect Cooper's attacks thus far but I require assistance to repel him and gain any useful information. I propose initiating a Vulcan mind melt through which you will be able to enter my mind and aid me against Cooper. Oh, great. Great. So I got to go in your mind and probably shoot some Undine in the face, right? All right. What else do you need to know? Um, sure. All right. I'm ready. Vulcan and a Bajora in mind meld. Sounds like a my mind to your mind. A bar joke. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Tuvok, you gotta get a better. Uh, Soundscape for your mind, dude. <laughs> What's going on? There's no sign of Tuvok or anyone else. It looks like I'm alone in the mindscape. Also, nice, uh, weird, uh, ref uh, effects going on. We've got an Omega particle showing up on the screens. How about the doctor? Doors locked. Okay. So. Examine Omega Protocol. Computer, explain the Omega Directive. Omega Directive is a set of regulations automatically activated when the ship encounters Omega Particles. Only the ship's captain can countermand the Directive. Information regarding Omega Particles and the Omega Directive is classified. Uh, computer, release Omega Lockdown. Authorization near to near to Admiral. Able to comply. Omega Directive Lockdown may only be released by ship captain in captain's ready room. Okay. They're very, very particular, aren't they? Um, so, anything back here? Doctor's doctor didn't really have a... I mean, I know this whole thing is his office, but he didn't really have a very big storage closet, did he? For a ship of this size. Um, okay. I, so, how do I unlock the door? Why would the 6 bay door be locked? Maybe it can be overridden. All right, access the console. Console is also locked out, but maybe the emergency medical hologram can answer some questions. All right, computer, activate the EMH. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Please state the nature of the medical emergency. Doctor, I seem to be confined to sick bay. Can you override the door lockout for me? 
Mm-hmm. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, shall we? First, I need to make sure you're not contagious or suffering from any injuries. This will only take a moment. Uh, I'm fine, Doctor, really. I need to get to engineering. Don't be difficult. I'm only doing my job. Engineers and captains, always in a hurry to get out of sick bay. Doctor, it's crucial that I leave sick bay. I need to find Tuvok. You're not going anywhere. Doctor's orders. Doctor? Doctor? Oh, 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 he shot me. That freaking bastard. You know what? You're not the doctor I know. You're not the doctor of me. <laughs> Man, he's like taking my shield down without any problems either. Jeez Louise. Can you hear me? Come speak to me at the desk terminal. Okay, after I just shot the doctor. I guess I'll go speak to you at the desk terminal. The mind meld was successful. Excellent. I am currently trapped in the ready room. For the moment, I will only be able to communicate with you remotely. Cooper is working to subvert my mental defenses. I must focus my concentration on keeping my mind intact. So I need to liberate you from your ready room. No, no. Cooper is trying to erode my emotional control. Symbolically, this means that he must destroy Voyager. To do so, he is attempting to overload the warp core. You must proceed to engineering to stop Cooper from destabilizing the warp core. If he is successful, he will have broken down my mental control systems. Once the core and my mind are protected from Cooper's attacks, then we can take control of this mindscape. Take the pad from the doctor's office. I will use it to communicate with you as you proceed. Understood. I'll pick up the pad and proceed to engineering. Okay. Good. Now we will be able to remain in contact. Proceed to engineering. All right. You're going to unlock the door for me? Oh, yes. Good. Oh, what in the hell? Was that? Cooper is attempting to subvert my mental defenses by replacing my memories with engrams from his bioship. Until he is expelled, these kinds of incursions will continue. You may see strange items or distortions in your surroundings. Ignore them and proceed as best you can. Remember Kiri Kinthaw's first law of metaphysics. Nothing unreal exists. Well, understood. Okay. Nothing unreal exists. You get that? Ghost, ghosts aren't real. Uh, so we'll just head on through the turbo lift here. Cooper is trying to overload the warp core. You must keep it stable. Uh, that looks like a yeah. I was gonna say that looks like a picture, and it is. The mindscape is a simulacrum. Cooper may move elements to suit his needs or try to stop you. Certain areas may be blocked or damaged or even transformed. Do your best to reach your destination. Cooper cannot simultaneously attack an area and conceal it. I see. That's... <laughs> I was like, that looks really cool. It's like a really cool effect, but I'm like, that's definitely a wall of some sort. That's hilarious. All right. Uh, oh, suddenly we're in engineering, and it's very, very yellow. What are you doing here? Warp poor. Hey, uh, Ensign Kim? You're still an Ensign, huh? Man, they didn't promote you after 30 years? <laughs> That's because you suck. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, this area is very dangerous. The core is unstable. I'm here to stabilize the core. I've almost got this. Just keep back. It will only take a few more minutes. W where's the chief engineer? Vilana? I don't know. She should be here, but as far as I can tell, everything on Voyager is about to fall apart, and I'm the only one here. Stay back. I'm going to put a force field around the core while I try to stabilize it. It won't contain a core breach, but it might block some of the radiation that the magnetic stabilizers give out. Ensign, we can solve this more effectively if we work together. You should probably know this by now. I mean, you're 30 years into the future. You are stupid, aren't you? Only people the Vulcan melded with should be here. Not everyone on Voyager is part of Tuvok's warped little subconscious. Some of us are far more exceptional. Ensign Kim, step away from the warp core controls before I kick you in the ass. I'll destroy you. Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to say. That's what I thought you were going to say. You're not Ensign Kim. I don't know why you would still be an Ensign after all this stuff. I mean, 
you would think at some point somebody would have said, hey, you know, this guy, he probably needs a, uh, probably could use a, you know, a promotion of some sort. I mean, we've kind of overlooked him for, for a very, very long time. I'm in control. Uh, you have anyone in particular you want me to use? Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, it's, it's, I was wondering if that had lowered it down or not. Probably shouldn't be firing a phaser here in engineering, especially when it's hitting the warp core like that, but you know. You can't All right, all right. I will use engineering consoles to press my attack. All right, two. It's not really doing a whole lot to him, is it? Come on, almost. Almost got him. Use the controls to restore the warp core. This will strengthen my mental defenses. All right, let's stabilize this bastard. Find an ally on the crew decks. All right, I'll find someone to help on the crew decks. Uh, sure. So basically, every time he melds with somebody, ooh, that's very terrible. Um, so every time he melds with somebody, that person stays like a piece of their personality stays inside of them. All right, I'll keep an eye out for anyone who might be able to help. All right, forward we go. Can't go through there, huh? All right, we'll go through here. Captain's quarters. Oh, that's right, he didn't meld with Seven, didn't he? What is happening? What am I doing here? Who are you? I require specifics. Answer me. Voyager is in danger from species A472. We need to liberate Tuvok. He's being held locked in the ready room. I have no reason to trust you, but this seems familiar somehow. Why am I in the crew quarters? I should be in my regeneration alcove. <laughs> Tuvok can explain. Here, he can communicate through this pad. Seven, you are currently experiencing an engrammatic regress as a result of the Vulcan mind melt. Must assist me in reasserting control over the meld. I am currently locked in the ready room next to the bridge. Exercise caution as species A472 has subverted the vessel. Let's go to the bridge and help Tuvok. All right. As the music plays. That is Borg technology. But the presence of the collective will not dissuade us. Assimilation is irrelevant. Okay, these guys are These guys are are not friendly. So, let's see what I can do here. They're also going to hurt a whole lot, or they would if, if they could actually hit me, apparently. Okay. I'll just uh, keep doing what I'm doing here. Uh, I don't know where they're headed to. They, they're they not, they're ignoring me entirely. They're just after seven, which is cool. All right, I'll just let them do their thing there while I continue to, all right, can I? There we go, two. Right, they're not 
hanging out too well here. <laughs> they're, they're very, very particular about ignoring me. So I guess I'll just stand here and keep doing what I'm doing. Okay, so now that we've done that in tight spaces, I guess we gotta go through here. Alright, and now what? Double lifted a bridge. Alright. Oh, you're here. Uh, Let's just get this over. Who is this guy? Oh, that guy. Oh. Wow, he's just he just keeps hanging around, doesn't he? What Cy Lord Cooper. Oh, that's what they mean by Dr. Cooper. Oh, this guy. I was wondering like what they meant by So he was a he was an undine agent the whole time? Did I miss that? I must have missed that. At some point along the way. I must have totally missed that. Anywho, I'll just keep shooting him in the face, I guess. You know, we're doing very little damage. Do that, do that. See if my drone will help out a little bit, maybe? I mean, he's focused entirely on 709 for some reason. Like everyone else, so I'm just kind of sitting here just shooting him in the face. My drone's shooting him. And everything else. It's all heal 7, I guess. Well, I, it's, I guess it's not really healing her, is it? But his his uh, <laughs> his health is almost down. I will secure the bridge while you release Tuvok. Okay. Well, that was that was a thing. I, I mean, just kind of stood there and just kept doing doing what we do. Where's the uh, ready room at down here? And release Tuvok. From a very strange cage. Okay, so now we can talk to him. With Cooper defeated, he should no longer be able to maintain the telepathic link with my mind. For the time being. We must end the mind meld and consider our next course of action. Now that we have removed Cooper's influence, it is time to break the link between he and myself. I agree, it's time to end this. Alright, leave it. I could just leave a mind meld of my own of my own uh, abilities. That's interesting. Talk to Tuvok. With Cooper's attack temporarily halted, we are in a position to slow the advance of his Undine forces. Please accompany me to the bridge. Lead the way, Admiral. In your Vulcan pajamas. I'll just I'll just roll right in behind you. Okay. We still do not have a fix on Cooper's whereabouts. I will contact Starfleet for any current information about Undine movements. Use the sensors to check for their quantum signatures. Voyager's sensor array is currently calibrated for tracking Undine movements, so you should be able to garner results quickly. All right, I'll handle the sensors. So, uh, sensors? Yeah. Figured they'd be over here. I know my Voyager TV show. And make a protocol in effect. Uh, okay. So hey, Tuvok, you wanna you wanna help out here a little bit? You should return to your ship. While I am somewhat fatigued as a result of the mind melt, I believe that I can continue in my duties on Voyager while we plan our next steps. Tuvok, I'm getting an error from operations. You make a protocol lockdown as an effect? We must still be in the meld. Cooper is trying to deceive us. He needs to break the link cleanly, but lacks the strength to confront us directly. So what do we do? You don't belong here. Okay, that's gonna be a thing. Right, let's do a seven and a zero and a six. 
All right, we'll just keep uh, killing all the things. All right, so you want to get us out of this mind meld, dude? We should use the link to our advantage. If we can track Cooper through the link, we can then pursue him in the physical realm. Since the Mindscape deals in symbolic representations, we need a map to his location. We should proceed to Astrometrics. All right, let's go. So, Astrometrics it is. To the turtle lift. Cooper is trying to block your progress. Yeah. Look for another path. Yeah, he certainly is. Uh, oh, what is this? Salmon console. Yeah, no, it definitely wasn't here before. Oh, and what are these guys doing? Strangers. Uh, all right, yeah, I figured they were. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Just, they punched me in the face. Jeez, Louise. Do a three here. Oh, well, he's he's down. Twenty three seventy five. Voyager encountered a malfunctioning board vinculum that had been turned into a trap by species six three three nine. This vinculum caused other personalities from the collective to surface in seven of nine. I entered a mind meld with her in an attempt to stabilize her personality. These people are echoes of the personalities of people assimilated by the Borg. They are not truly aware, knowing only that they desire to escape. It may be helpful to think of them as ghosts, metaphorically speaking, of course. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> uh, I already made a reference to like Ghostbusters at some point, didn't I? Uh, okay, let's uh, go this way, I guess. I don't know who laid out these corridors, but they were really terrible. Um, Cooper is attempting to distort your path again. <sighs> Keep searching. What is that? What is that? All right. Um, I guess we can't go that way. Oh, more of these, more of these folks. Ow! Stop hitting me! Stop hitting me! <laughs> they keep, they keep punching me. They keep punching me. There you go. Take that, you bastard. All right. So. Now where? Ooh, what was that? Oh, hello there. Hello there. Oh, is that is that Tuvok? Is Tuvok stuck in the wall? He is stuck in the wall. Wow, that's that's a thing. All right, so uh, what, is, what is this here? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he just magically reappeared. I guess we gotta go this way. I sense we are making progress. Damn. Keep searching. Damn this guy. Okay. Uh, I guess follow the follow the fog. Salmon hallway. Uh, Dreamcatcher. There's a force field. Can I just, like, kill these guys before they get up? Okay, very good. Took them out before they became a problem. Can't go that way though. Unlock Astro Astrometrics Lab. Also, there was a Starfield back there I didn't see. Manual unlock. <laughs> I am somehow charged for a capacitor. What the frig? Descaler. <laughs> All right. Recouple the decouplifier. Excellent. All right. <laughs> Track Cooper. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Um, check memory of grid 124 octet 22 theta. 
According to Voyager's logs, this is the location of Tuvok's previous mine melt was 709 when she suffered a forced intrusion of other events, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's try somewhere else. Surprise system. After Voyager left the surprise system early in its journey home, Tuvok experienced a traumatic mind melt with crewman Suter. Okay, they, yeah, all right, so it's got to be this nebula, right? Right, Voyager encountered a Class 17 nebula in 2373. At this time, Tuvok was suffering from an agromanic virus and entered a mind meld with Captain Janeway so that the captain could help him trace and resolve the source of the virus, which extended to his tenure aboard the Excelsior under Captain Sulu. This is not related to the Undine incursion. Also, it was not the very good 50th anniversary or 25th anniversary thing. Not as good as the Trouble with Tribbles one with the, that Deep Space Nine did. But anyway... We have to be getting close. Uh, check memory of Necrid Expanse. The Necrid Expanse is an area on the edge of Borg space. It is located near an unstable corridor the Undine used to make incursions into our dimension. The quantum singularities in that area of space make it easily subject to incursion by the Undine. Logic suggests this would be an ideal location for them to use as a fleet staging area. It's time to end the mine mill and go find Cooper. There. We have him. Cooper has broken the link. The melt can end. Okay, so now we're back in the real world? This ordeal has taxed me mentally but I must continue the mission. I have learned that Cooper is in fluidic space, in an area that corresponds to the location known in our dimension as the Northwest Passage. We must travel there and enter fluidic space to confront Cooper once more. He is aboard a special command bioship that he cannot abandon. If we catch him in fluidic space, we can force a final confrontation. Please join me on the bridge. I must focus my concentration on regaining my strength. I need you to enter our destination coordinates and make certain that there are no more surprises. Okay. Well, I'll let you go fo go ahead of me in your Vulcan underwear, and then I will I will I will be your helmsman because apparently this helmsman over here is not good enough. Voyager will join you in the Northwest Passage. We'll leave as soon as you've returned to your ship. We need to hurry if we want to catch Cooper. All right, return to the ship. This area of space was labeled by Commander Chakotay as the Northwest Passage. It is a corridor of space that the Borg avoid because of the high incidence of quantum singularities, which the Undine use as points of transit. Voyager encountered the passage in 2373, and Captain Janeway chose to use it to travel through Borg space. This precipitated our first contact with species 8472. So what do we need to do here? We must locate a quantum singularity that will lead us into the correct area of fluidic space. My suspicion is that Cooper is using this region as a staging ground for the vast Undine fleet, and his command bioship will be there as well. Approach each singularity and check its quantum wave signature. When we find the correct one, we will pass through. We'll probably have to engage Undine ships first and then scan the singularities. Okay. Well, I guess that's what we're going to do. Quantum singularity right in front of me. Right in front of my face. So, shall I scan it? Scan it. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. There we go. Already's too unstable. Yeah, I figured that because it kept popping in and out. 
It didn't have any enemies around it. Okay, we got some bio ships here that are going to want to wreck my face, I imagine. Let's see if I can scan this before I have to take them on. Nope, can't scan it now. Got bio ships to worry about. We found a passage to fluidic space that we can use, and we're going to use it. After a short battle with the Undine, it was relatively uneventful. We need to reach Cooper's command bioship. According to my scans, he is using a modified dreadnought as a control vessel. Intriguing. Cooper's bioship appears to have nerve clusters, gyri, and structures typically associated with brain matter. While most bioships are organic, they are not aware. Rather, they are biological tissue operated by the Undine as tools. Cooper's vessel is different. It is possible that the ship is self-aware. This would explain the increase in Cooper's telepathic abilities. Not only is his command bioship able to coordinate the entire Undine fleet, acting as a brain for the other ships, but it also amplifies his psionic power. We must gain access to the ship directly. We will need to temporarily disable its shielding mantle, so we can fire upon vulnerable sections to disable it. Find and disable Cooper ship, understood. You've come a long way, but as you can see, I am not unprepared for your arrival. <laughs> this command bio ship is unique. It is capable of coordinating an entire fleet of bio ships. A fleet that will launch from the structure you see here. Even if you attack me, I suspect you will find the sheer power of my new fleet to be overwhelming. Yeah, we're not defeated yet, Cooper. Well, now we're doing some damage, finally. 35%. I don't know how we suddenly start doing a whole bunch of damage, but we are. There we go. Excellent. All right. Let's uh, beam aboard while we can. We are close to Cooper's position, but the bio ship is blocking transport in the area closest to the central nexus. We must find control nodes that will allow us to enter the nexus. As the ship is organic, we may be able to force it open by sending impulses through certain nerve endings thereby causing a reflex reaction, much like a sneeze. Find the control nodes, open the central nexus, got it. Cooper should be in the chamber just beyond this door. If this ship has a mind, can you convince it not to fight us? An intriguing notion. I shall make the attempt. You must protect me from Cooper and his soldiers while I concentrate on the mind melt. When you are ready, Shall proceed. Alright, fine. I mean, might as well have a double mind meld. Why not? Like a double rainbow, I guess. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. You must protect me from undine attacks while I concentrate. What is 
is happening? You! You did this! My mind to your mind. Your thoughts to my thoughts. Why should we listen to the weak? You will perish when the Iconians complete their purge. To the Iconians, you are weak. We must survive. When we fight one another, we are weak. United, we are strong. No! Don't listen to him! We must see to our needs. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. The many must survive. We don't need them! The many will be strong. The strong will survive. They are weak. I will save us! Did we intend for him to get vaporized? Because I don't think we intended for him to get vaporized. Also, will you please help me up finally? Jesus. The bio dreadnought has no intention of entering our space. Now we must return to our ships before the Undine retreat to their own fortresses in fluidic space. All right, I'm I'm good for getting out of here. Jeez Louise. There are no signs of. Whatever the intent of the remaining Undine forces, it seems that they do not involve our dimension. As a Vulcan, I am not given to personal displays. Nonetheless, we have shared a deep connection. We will always carry a part of this experience with us. In a sense, you have become a portion of my mental defenses. Part of the ship and crew that define the most challenging aspects of my existence. Ah, oh, you're such a sweetheart, Tuvok. Our shared effort has prevented another Undine invasion, and incidentally, allowed me to retain my sanity. Your contributions are appreciated. I must advise Starfleet Command of these developments. I am sure we will speak again. Until then, I am confident that events in the Delta Quadrant are in capable hands. Farewell, Admiral. Long oh. and prosper. <laughs> that wasn't in the text. All right, farewell, Admiral. Live long and prosper and all that stuff. Depart this system. And we have completed our first mission in the Delta Quadrant, my friends. And I'm going to have to end the episode here because for some reason my sinuses have just completely opened up and I am barely keeping it together here. <laughs> I can barely talk without choking up here. Uh, so, uh, oh, ooh, hello. Hello there. Uh, is that just the Dyson Sphere that we came in for there? So no comp and freighter and everything? Uh, Alsorian Sector, huh? All right, yep, that will do it, my friends. Actually, I guess we better uh, wrap this one up. So let's do a Hail Starfleet here. With Cooper gone, the Undine won't have a leader pushing them toward war with our forces. I wonder why he was so set on this conflict. We still don't know exactly how long Cooper had been replaced by an Undine or if the original Cooper is still alive. Perhaps this Undine saw something during his time among us that convinced him that the only way to secure the safety of his people was to destroy ours. It wouldn't be the first time that's happened. Remember the Zindi attack on Earth in the 22nd century? They were told by the Sphere Builders that they had to destroy Earth to save themselves. It turned out that Sphere Builders were using the Zindi as a tool in their own destructive plans. We know the Iconians have manipulated the Undine. Maybe they were the ones pushing Cooper to attack. All right, we get a fluidic anti-proton assault defense beam. Excellent. Collect that reward. Our first task in the Delta Quadrant is a familiar one, helping a species to find a new home. A group of Talaxians living in the Entava system are ready to move to a new homeworld nearby. Admiral Tuvok and Voyager have gone ahead to their main asteroid base to begin the preparations for the transition. The Admirals requested your presence as well. You two work well together. I recommend you take advantage of his expertise. 
There's no one who knows more about the Delta Quadrant than he does. Travel to the Intabas system, which is located in Delta Quadrant, to help the Talaxians. All right, and we'll have stuff that we can uh, select for our own purposes. And, it, <clears throat> and again, I'm going to have to stop this now before I completely lose my voice. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.